what were we saying? The Brown Mountain Saucer inhabitants. It's almost as if uh, I've, I've, I've un unlocked some sort of, in within the all natural DMT matrix of uh, regular ordinary human sleepscapes, uh, some kind of hidden memory of uh, since youth. On multiple occasions, it's seen the face of a Brown Mountain Saucer inhabitant. And uh, what comes to mind now would be uh, repressing repressing ideas for repressing sort of uh, unlocked memory of just a quarter day or maybe half day ago a few hours ago at the very least and uh, traumatic hand injuries um, seizures and, and and sort of other similar traumas to mask the uh, to mask the horrors and terrors of seeing such a a brutal sight that uh, leads you to a curiosity ten or a hundred times that of a feline domesticated cat animal human pet now their saucers are primitive uh, but uh, uh, when outs the inhabitant doesn't uh, wear suits so and its body is porous although naturally uh, hallucinogenic if you were to come in close quarters with one they also possess a sort of telepathy and uh, you know, telekinesis powers mind bullets would you say and they would hypnotize uh, children of the indigenous and uh, capture held for ransom so they could eat the larger land animals um, and there was a war uh, this is with the humans a thousand years ago and since they've wound up with the uh, sort of territories the, the closest one that comes to mind is the Adirondacks now I'm not sure if it, what I was dreaming is this last night it was a kind of a montage you know have you seen the saucers Jefferson airplane was not part of it no I think they speak of a different uh, ET race and uh, soon, if we continue to indulge in that of the of the bureau, uh, instead of a Mulder or Scully impersonations, it would be uh, something that of a Dan Aykroyd's and uh, conspiracies of whether the Blues Brothers were actually or one of them uh, the undercover um, chaos, chaos, chaos.